Brian May has one of the most lauded tones in rock, yet it's difficult to recreate it exactly without just the right gear. It certainly hinges on having one of these, a Vox AC30, on full blast, and then boosting the sound even more with a specific configuration of guitar and a custom treble booster. Here we're going to go through the stages, and first up, this is how the amp sounds with the volume at around halfway, and we're using the Vox's top boost channel throughout. <laughs> Okay, this time we're going to turn the amp all the way up. Notice how the sound gets dirtier, of course, but fuller too. Well, it's still not quite there. So, as we've been using the middle pickup of this burn so far, let's add in the bridge pickup. As the two pickups are wired in series here, not parallel, the tone is going to get its first dollop of boost. OK, now it's time for the magic ingredient. This is a Greg Fryer treble booster, and we're going to set it to full volume. So now we've got the amp boosted to full, two of the pickups selected in series, and that is about as close as we're going to get to the fantastic sound of Brian May. And it sounds like this. <laughs> The final piece of the puzzle is this sixpence, which Brian uses as a plectrum. The coin serrated edge can clean up the tone a little bit like this. For maximum boost, here's the exact same rig, but this time with all three pickups switched in and in series. Notice how the sound becomes even more full. Finally, here's the exact same setup, full amp treble boost of the works, but this time we're going to use this hot rodded ESP GL56. <laughs> well, it's close, but no cigar. So, get a Burns or a Brian May signature guitar, a Vox AC30 and a treble booster. Sadly, there's probably not really any other way.